Hey guys, so today on this episode of VM9 XXO, I know you guys haven't been making a video in a long time. Um, so here's my newest one. It's going to be how to make a friendship cookie. Now this video is from one of my best friends on YouTube. His name is um Crafty Cookie. Crafty Cookie. She's a very good friend of mine, and um, I know her sister, um, the Strawberry 101, I think. Her, but um, the girl that she taught me how to make this, her name is Crafty Cookies, and I think I'll make a link on the description box below to her um, YouTube channel. So please subscribe there, and also I will make a link to the Strawberry, I think 101, I'm not sure. Um, I'll write in the description box. So this is basically the friendship. Looks like this, and it fits like that. Okay. And also, you can make it with all different things. This is how um Crafty Cookies 101 makes it. Oh, Crafty Cookies makes it. You, it looks like this. It's like chocolate, and then it's a heart. So yeah. But I just like making it like this now. I don't know why. Pretty cool, but I still like making it the square way. So, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it the square way. it is for this project is um of like biscuit cutter not an actual biscuit cutter like um a thing like that looks like um a actual like something that you like and then you want to use another object i'm going to use this heart that fits slightly right inside this heart fits inside so we're going to be using those two and then you're going to make two cakes of clay i'm making I actually want to make this for um, Crafty Cookies. I want to be able to send it to her. Um, it's going to be our friendship charm because you know she's one of my best friends on YouTube. Um, she's one of my new subscribers. So yeah, this is for me and you, Crafty um, Cookies. And if you're watching this video, um, thanks for being an awesome subscriber. And um, so yeah, this is for you. So basically, what I'm going to be doing is you want to take out your plate. I just love these colors. They're really cool. So now we're going to want to do this. You're going to want to take off some of your clay. Not that much. <laughs> take about that much. And this is going to be making. And you can also use like a roller, which I'm going to be using. Crafty Cookie has got me into polymer clay. So I'm getting like all this credit to her. So yeah, so you're going to need spice, and you're going to roll it. This is a non-stick roller, it's 8,000 Michaels. It's really cool. So what you're going to do is you want to take this cutter and cut it out. You don't want it to be too thin, but you don't want it to be too thick. Okay. That side, and you're going to roll this back up. Once you have that done, you can put this aside. Have them. This is the light thing. So now we're going to be working on the dark side. The dark side, you're only not going to need a lot because you're only going to make one of the like kind of shaped like biscuits. So once you do that, you're going to take, um, now the first take cookies, you don't really do yours like this, but I actually found it out that this is an actually easier way to do it. So if you want to watch this, it may help you. So you want to take your bottom layer that you have two of and put it on the bottom. So I have two of the light color. I'm going to put one of them on the bottom. I'm going to put one of them right on top. And 
And once you make one, like, see, I'm modeling right off of this, like, literally right by me, and I'm just, like, modeling off of it. So once you have that, you want to kind of press down, and you're going to take a like, little toothpick and press down later. But, um, now you're going to take your, um, inside, because you kind of have a snuggly inside, and you're going to want to take and cut, like, literally right in the center. You cut it. Because mine's dead. Okay? So then, what you're going to do is you're going to take your other piece that you have, and then you're going to take the cut out. And if you can leave that um, light blue on the bottom, I feel it um, actually kind of works better. Because I have the yellow on the bottom, if you can see. It's really kind of hard to tell, but you know, really. Um, and now you just kind of want to stretch this out a little. Just to make the heart more easy, and you want to put that on top. And then, you can go like that, and just press it down. Put it actually inside, so you have it as a better fit. And then, once you press down, you want to lift that layer. Thing. Like that. So as you can tell, that worked very Let me just use a little tool to help you. Okay. So, I gotta get a different tool. Okay. And now, so you can put this. That, like that. And I'm just gonna fix. Fix that. Okay. So, yep. So that's basically how you make it. Um, this is the heart, like shape. Okay. And then. That. This sits right on top. And then once it comes out, out of the oven, I know it's going to be very hot. But you have to kind of like, put, like, if you want to put like gloves on, you have to shape this. Because it's still, what's it called? It's still like kind of soft when it comes out of the oven. So you want to, what's it called? You want to shape it. Again, you want to keep on stretching it. And you don't want to shape it too much because that's just going to be too pliable. But you just want it to be good enough that it will fit snugly over this part. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take that little sharp tool here. I'm going to just click. Like. So, there you have that, and that's how you make a friend, oh, and then you bake it, of course, you don't have to tell it to here, um, that's how you make your friendship charm, um, you could put charms with these, um, I am going to, um, cause, yeah, for my best friend, and we want to be able to have charms on it, and that's how you make a friendship charm, it's, as you guys can tell, it's not that hard at all. Um, graphic cookies, if you are watching this video, um, send me, um, I'm going to send you a, um, like, email on YouTube, um, on how I can, um, get this to you, um, and, yeah, so I hope you guys like this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time, bye! Like that? Nope.